said, live your life of stability. We chasing greatness. Yeah. Shoot, stable people, they, they self and they look after they self. God didn't create us to be stable. Where in the Bible does God say, live a life of stability? <laughs> Shoot, when did God say, I created you to live a stable life and come live with me in eternity? No. Paul said, I have a race to run. Yeah. <laughs> it's a race. And guess what? I'm living, I'm running that race with you. I'm not sitting, I'm moving. It's a race. And everybody's stable. They, they ain't no race. When a horse is in the stable, is he moving? No, he's sitting. Who, how can a horse win a race when he's in the stable? He can't. You got to get out. And when he gets out, why are they letting him out? To chase a goal. Yeah. To chase a goal, to get to the finish line first. That's what the horse is for. The horse wasn't created to sit in the stable. They didn't create the horse to, to sit and, and get all the lavender. What do they do to race horses? Don't they wash them up and treat them good, feed them good? And then, and then you're going to do all that and sit them in the stable? That ain't why they do it. They do it so they can win the race, run the race. God didn't create us to say, oh, let's have all the stability, all the love, and treat you good and all this, and then go sit at home and enjoy yourself. No, God gives you more money, more talent, more time. He gives it to you because there's a race to run. There's a purpose. People want to live all their stuff and live a great life for themselves. That's stability. I don't want no stability. I want some greatness. Yeah. I got a purpose. God giving me this business, giving me this life, not for me to sit and enjoy it and die and say, oh God. Well, God said, okay, why did I create you? Did you come back with something? Sure, I live stable. <laughs> God was say, even with your slave, yeah, and give you our hey, lab hey, for you hey, to be hey, stable. Hey, hey, you know God on the Yeah, he, boy, he told Job. I was like, oh, he got on Job. He, he let Job know. Boy, who you talking to? Let me tell you, where were you when I did this? Who were you? So well, Job was like, Ooh, I, I was a fool when I spoke. I'm quiet. Wow. Right. So that's what I'm saying. People want to be stable. People want to criticize you. People want to tell you, stop chasing your goal so you can be stable. Yeah. You know, you know what? When I give it to them, it's going to be out of my extra. It ain't going to be, oh, they can control me. Because, you know, you ain't got no money to pay for the appointment. Guess what? We got some control you. You gotta get out. You can stay or you can get out. So when you got enough, they can never put you out. They can never say, we control you. you I control them because if I decide to give them money, it's my choice. I can go somewhere else and do it. See, when you when you live for greatness, you got choices. When you live stable, your choice is taken away. Yeah, you, your choices are minimized. You might still have a little choice, but you can't do everything. Can a person living stable go on a cruise every month? They ain't no. Can a, per a person with greatness and purpose, can they do it? Yes. Can a person with stability walk into a car dealership and say, I want that car, get it ready? No. I mean, yes, they, a person with purpose can. A person with stability, they walking in, can I have that car? Okay, now let me go see if somebody give me the money for the car. Will you please give me my mom fill out all my information and give me my information? Will you please give me a loan? Yes, I signed you as my slave. You're my slave for five years. <laughs> for five years, yeah, you're going to pay me because you're a slave to me right now. But a, per a person who lives in greatness walk in, hey, I want that car. Okay, who's financing? Financing. I don't finance, I pay. Give me the car, let's go. See, that's what I'm chasing. When I was chasing the NFL, it wasn't chasing no stability. Shoot, it wasn't that. It was chasing greatness, do something great. I just wish I had the mindset of a great person when I was there because I was dealing with so much more great stuff. But at the end of the day, I learned from my past. I learned from other people's past. Who am I? Only a fool would turn to the bummer. The dog would turn to the bummer. I'm not going back to what I used to be. And if I gotta sit in the pot till God finishes cooking me up, 
making me completely ready. Yeah, yeah. I ain't getting out the pot because somebody say it's too hot in there, man. You need to get out and you need to and, and cool off and, and enjoy life. No, I'm in the pot because the pot is where I'm going to learn. What, yes, this is where God going to take me to a new level because he going to finish what? What he started in me if I stay in the pot. If I got that pot, he ain't going to finish. If he don't finish, here come the life of stability. Who wants that? Not me. And I ain't let my girls grow up like that. So people can judge and say, oh, you should do this. Oh, you ain't doing this. You ain't doing that. I don't care what you say. People. And if you ever notice the people who live a very average lives, I was the one that got to tell you what you should do. <laughs> the ones who ain't doing nothing harder with their lives, living the same routine every day, are the ones out here preaching, telling you how to be great. How can a person who ain't great tell a person who is great what they're doing wrong? You know why? Because they don't see the greatness because they see the sight, not the vision. See, I know I'm great not because of what you see. I know I'm great because of what God has told me. So the world says you ain't great. God says you're great. Once you know who you are, then guess what you can do? Yeah.